All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we'll call the August 1st, 2022 Planning Commission meeting to order at 6 oh, whatever it is, 6 o'clock. Perfect. Thank you. Will you please call the roll for our attendees? Chairman Wyckoff? Present. Commissioner Brooks? Here. Commissioner Dillon? Here. Commissioner Marr? No. Noble? No. And Commissioner Connolly? Here. Thank you. Thank you. Looks like we have just enough to squeak by for a quorum. So thank you for that. Uh, at this point, we would call anyone from the public forward who would like to speak on any item that is not on the agenda this evening. If you would like to say anything, please come to the podium, state your name and your address, and please keep it to three minutes. Anyone? Of the <laughs> horde, the throngs of people that are out there? No one wants to come forward. Okay, perfect. All right, well, seeing none, we'll move on to the approval of minutes from our July 11th meeting. Uh, I'm assuming that each of you have had the opportunity to review the minutes that were sent out to us. Um, at this point, if there are no changes, we'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes that were presented. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes as presented. Okay. Second. Okay. Motion made by Commissioner Brooks, seconded by Commissioner Dillon. Please call for the roll. Commissioner Brooks? Yes. Commissioner Dillon? Yes. Commissioner Connolly? Yes. And Chairman Wyckoff? Yes. Thank you. So the minutes have been approved. Thank you very much, everyone. Next step to move on to is new business. Uh, under new business, I would like to let our commissioners know that we've been requested to remove item B from our agenda. It apparently is no longer a necessary change to be made. It'll be taken up by our Board of Commissioners not something we need to approve apparently. So we have one item of new business, which is TCH 2022-12, an amendment to private doc section 14205 in the code. Um, and I believe it, this was kind of sent back to us, correct, for a revision? Was this something we partially um, addressed? This is like an addition to okay. last meeting's okay. um, amendment. Okay, um, we did have a minor amendment to this area so now we're kind of adding on we did see some areas that were in need and I think we're going to be revisiting this probably again and again for a little while to get this right but uh, Jenny if you'd like to take it away sure. so last meeting we had uh, received an application for a text amendment regarding uh, private docs and allowing them to go to the variance process so that goes through the special magistrate magistrate looks at the application and we have six criteria in there. last meeting um, that was voted to for recommendation of approval unanimously so this is adding on to that so this is just cleaning up the section in, in the doc section last month we were cleaning up the variance section saying that you uh. can apply for a doc variance this is just clarifying it in the doc section of the code saying, oh, you can get your neighbor's signatures, you can be within the center one third, um, within the length, or get the neighbor's signatures, or get an approved variance from the special magistrate. So it's just adding on to last month's um, amendment. Okay, so it's, it's clarifying a petitioner's options. Correct. Correct, okay. Um, I read through it, it makes sense to me. Uh, I don't know if anybody's got any questions about it or any areas of concern. So you can see the amendment that we are, it's up for discussion on page seven. And then last month's amendments, uh, you can see that on page eight and nine of the packet. Right, so page seven of 12, you'll see section 14-205 is our, our new changes to the criteria specifically for docs, and then as Jenny said, the rest is speaking to the variance area, and we're adding the language to reference back to this section. So we're just adding that page seven since page right. eight and nine were already um, recommended approval. And then these will both go to BOC together. Okay. So did they not pass the BOC before? It or? hasn't gone to BOC yet, so it'll go okay. this month. Okay. We just wanted to make sure that both of them went together. Linda and I were talking um, after our last meeting and say, oh, we probably should have clarified it in the doc mm -hmm. section as well, just, just to make sure it's 
it's clear and it's all clean. So that's why it's here. So the last meeting we sort of put a temporary patch on it okay. to get us to the next step. And then after seeing what downstream effects those had to make it clear, they had to add these things in to make it uh, consistent through the rest of the codes that applied to this, right? Is that kind of yes, what we're talking exactly. about? Okay. And because that's what I had asked because it was on, I saw that it was on the BOC meeting minutes, but then it never occurred. So that went to BOC workshop. Um, I'm not sure who put that on. It might have been the city manager just to discuss it with the okay. board. I wasn't at that meeting. I believe Linda was at that meeting. Um, that, should, that was just up for discussion. So the meeting this month, they will have this um, TCH 2022-12, which it's given an ordinance number, and then what we heard last last month as well. Okay, thanks. I'm just trying to learn and, and didn't know why it came back to us. So, but no, that makes sense. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think it officially got kicked back. I think they were looking forward, yeah. <laughs> exactly. right? <laughs> trying to preempt a few problems. So it, it makes sense to me. Yeah. Um, I appreciate the effort on that. You know, the, the more we can clarify these things so people can understand what they're getting themselves into, the more helpful it is. All right, anybody else got any questions about it? Anyone from the public, since I kept forgetting that last time, anyone from the public would like to address uh, the Board of Commissioners before we discuss it and take a vote on it? Okay. Looks like there's nobody out there ready to speak for or against. So it's up to you folks. If somebody would like to make a motion to approve or deny this, we'll entertain it. <laughs> I make a motion to pass uh, TCH 2022-15. 12. 12, 12, my son. Okay. 2022-12. Okay. We got I will second that. You guys are active. Okay. So we have a motion and a second to approve TCH 2022-12. If there's no other discussion by the commission members, we'll call for the vote. Commissioner Dillon? Yes. Commissioner Brooks? Yes. Commissioner Connolly? Yes. And Chairman Wyckoff? Yes. Thank you. Well, that went pretty darn well. Um, and we have removed new business item B. Um, I don't see any old business that we need to address. Jenny, Sue, you have anything that we Nothing. need to? Good. Okay. Any presentations or anything the staff needs to bring forward? Nope, nothing. You, uh, you should be seeing the activity center pretty soon. We're okay. meeting with um, Ford Pinellas coming up. It's next week. Oh, good. So we submitted that to them. So. Not sure exactly when it'll come forward to you, but you will be seeing it pretty. Get soon. ready for it. Yes. Exciting. All right. Do we have any of the old text for some of our? Because I know we had discussed it last year. Some of the activity center zoning. That's what you're talking about, right? The activity yes. center zoning it's stuff. A, yeah, land use. If if you could make a note, maybe if there's okay. any way to look, you know, look at some of the things we had discussed and get it to some of our newer members of the Planning you Commission. Can send that out to everyone. That's because I know we we had a pretty lengthy discussion about some of that in the past. Um, and it would probably be good for you guys to see where everybody's head was at at that time and, you know, see what people were thinking. It would. It would. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, those are ones that we would really hope that the members of the public would come see. I'm sure that's what you're uh, alluding to because there are um, not just our commissioners, um, but, you, you know, it's going to have an effect on the people. And, and I'm sure you'll see more come to that because it will have a greater effect on more people around a particular area and they're going to want to make their issues or uh, opinions known right okay yeah if you get that that'd be great okay i don't know if it'll be next month or the month after that's but fine it'll Just be we'll send something out um about the activity center i don't know what we sent out before but we'll find out yeah like if we know that's coming up on the agenda it would be nice to have it so we could review it yeah. in advance because there were some really pertinent topics that we had discussed in the past about some of the areas you know what streets and things like that how far it should go and it was pretty interesting discussion at the time. Mm, I, we also, Linda did a presentation yeah. as well. Yeah, there was some version of a PowerPoint type thing that uh, we'll Linda had done to show some well. of the zones where we were thinking about. So it'd be kind of nice to refresh my memory and for those that weren't here. It's been a while. Yeah, so. it has been a little while. I've forgotten a lot of stuff. Since and we'll then, do so. another presentation when that comes okay. up. So Awesome. Yes. I know you will. You'll be great. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Um, any discussion among our Planning Commission members? Okay. 
uh, our next meeting, scheduled for September 12, 2022. Everybody okay with that? That's here. And we'll hope that the folks that couldn't make it tonight will be able to make it. And any other information or material you're thinking of passing out to us at this point? Not that I can think of. Smooth. Look at this. 10 minutes and 59 seconds. All right. I know. This is pretty amazing, right? Like, listen fast. Okay. So, uh, well, we'll adjourn this meeting. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.